Material is a word that can be difficult to figure out how to pronounce. So in this video, I'll teach you step by step how to pronounce material in American English. We'll look at its stress pattern and each of its different sounds. With the word material, there can be a few places to make mistakes. So I want to walk you through each part to make sure you can pronounce this difficult word correctly. But before I do that, can you do me a favor? Please like and share this video with your friends. And make sure to watch till the very end to see the fun practice assignment I have for you. You're going to love this one. The word material has four syllables. Ma, tier, e, o. Because this is a long word, you may be tempted to rush it and skip one of the middle syllables. Another common error is putting the stress on the wrong part of the word. Primary stress is on tier, so make sure to pronounce that syllable louder and longer than all the others. Let's look at it now syllable by syllable. The first syllable, ma, has weak stress. It should be short, quiet, and low in pitch, like this, ma, ma. Again, the second syllable, tear, has primary stress. And since the T begins the stress syllable in this case, it's a hard T and is released. Feel the puff of air as you say the T. T, T, material, material. Now the vowel sound in this syllable, tear, is probably not what you expect it to be. It's an R-controlled vowel, so it's a blend of two sounds. It starts with an I sound and finishes with er. Ear, ear, ear. So when we say it quickly, it just becomes ear. Ear, ear, ear. In order to pronounce it correctly, you need to master the er sound first. If you need to, please see my full video on the er sound. It's one of the key sounds to master for clear American English, so don't ignore that sound. I know it might be difficult, but spend a lot of time practicing that and make sure that you master it because it will pay off in much better pronunciation. So this syllable tear sounds like the word tear as in the tears when you cry. Or tier, T-I-E-R, as in levels of something. It sounds exactly the same as those two words. And it rhymes with the word ear and hear. The third syllable, the I, is pronounced E, like the final Y in happy or baby. Material, material. And the last syllable again is a tricky one. It's a dark L sound. But more importantly, you need to reduce the A in the ending to a schwa sound. It needs to sound like this. Oh, oh. It shouldn't sound like al or al. It should be oh. Very quick, very short. The dark L that is at the end of this word is a deep L coming from the back of your mouth. You'll notice that your tongue will glide backwards as you say it. Oh, oh. If you'd like to learn more about the dark L, check out my video on that. But truthfully, if you use a regular English L here, it should sound pretty close. So that's the whole word. Material. Let's say it a few times together to make sure that you've got it. Material. 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 And since we usually don't say words in isolation, it's important to practice them in a relevant context. So here are a couple of sentences. I need to buy some materials for my art class. 
What material is your shirt made of? Now I have a little fun practice assignment for you. Take a look at my video on how to pronounce the word girl. Then sing along to the old Madonna song, Material Girl. I'd love to find out how it went for you. Please leave me some feedback in the comments below. And thanks for watching.